Kyle Garlic is actually a cyborg sent from the future to our time to single-handedly dismantle all left-handed pitching. Kyle Garlic hit two more home runs against the lefty tonight. Just a beast. Just, just absolutely destroys left-handers. It's insane. Jose Miranda also hit two home runs against the Blue Jays tonight. He was kind of quietly actually putting together some nice uh, games the last couple weeks while the Twins have been hitting, or excuse me, slumping at the plate, not hitting. Uh, he's been kind of uh, turning it on. It all kind of came together for him tonight, maybe. Hopefully this is a sign of things to come. He had two homers. Byron Buxton also hit a home run, but this was a Twins game played. So, you know, somebody had to get injured. Kyle Garlick actually got injured. Gio Urshela gets injured here. Not sure on the severity of either of those guys, but here's hoping uh, that they're going to be all right. A big story with the pitching was, you know, Chichi Gonzalez started, didn't really do great, but the bullpen was incredible. You saw there a lot of guys contributed. Uh, Giovanni Moran here uh, showing that there was a nasty changeup of his. He struck out the side, did walk two batters, but he's maybe the guy that has the biggest upside of that group that contributed tonight. Uh, here's a look at the starting pitching rundown from all the affiliates. You see uh, Fort Myers was postponed, but everybody else in here, we're going to take a look at David Festa in just a moment. I just want to call out, man, the Saints have had just horrible performances from the prospects. Ronnie Henriquez, Jordan Balazovic, Cole Sands all just have pitched horribly in AAA, unfortunately. David Festa, though, has pitched very well. Here he is for Cedar Rapids, getting a good look at him. Um, lots and lots of swings and misses for him. Uh, this was the guy who was lighting it up in Fort Myers. He hasn't been quite as good since the promotion. Kind of asked to be expected. Uh, but again, missing lots of bats tonight. Festa, five innings pitched, five hits, two runs, two walks, five strikeouts. Um, and, you know, this is the guy who was the 13th round pick out of Seton Hall. That's been a really big pop-up prospect. Don't have any velo from tonight, but, you know, he's been as high as 98 uh, recently as well. So... Uh, he's looking real good. Another nice performance. Not one of his better ones, but uh, certainly nothing to sneeze at. And here are the hitting performances. Kyle Garlic, three for three with two home runs before he was taken out. Again, just a beast. Uh, Kirloff, we're going to get to. Prado, we're going to get to. Deshaun Kersey uh, drove in the only run for Wichita tonight. There you see the home runs in the system at the bottom there. We're going to start it out with Alex Kirilov, uh, who, you know, the big question is the power. Is the power going to be there? Well, this one looked good. Opposite field. This hit off of that green scoreboard you see way above the yellow line. Uh, he's looking good. And Kirilov is hitting now 337 with a 449 on base percentage and a 483 slugging for St. Paul. That's a 932 OPS. He also hit this double to the wall as well. So Kirilov having a nice night. And Anthony Prado, I swear. If you'd look at his year-to-date numbers, you guys would think to get, I'm like pasting in videos and uh, recycling things because I, I feel like I talk about him every night. And he's got good numbers, but not not as eye-popping as I would maybe have assumed. And tonight he was two for four with a triple, a walk, and two stolen bases. Uh, here you see him driving in the go-ahead run in the top of the fifth. And then on the bases, he steals second. There... A little bit of an awkward slide trying to avoid the uh, defender. And this is, you know what, I, I'm going to steal third and I'm going to score. So Prado, again, drives in the go-ahead run with a single, steals second, steals third, scores on the throw. Later in the game, here's that triple E hit uh, just in no man's land. You know, just where nobody was, this thing runs the gap all the way to the wall. Not hit all that hard, uh, but also not played very well, additionally, for by Lansing. Uh, so that was a two-run triple for Prado. And then just end up on, on the bases magic. Once again, he scores on what you'll see a wild pitch here. But Prado's hitting 271 with a 349 on base percentage and a 486 slugging. That's an 835 OPS. And thank you to Nate H and True Funk Army for being new super supporters. Here's a list of other people who have given me super thanks or super chats, donations. If you're interested, there is this thanks button down below, and it is a one-time donation, and that's a preview of the screen that you'll see that pops up there. Uh, once again, we'll go through the starting pitching rundown and the hitters, the notable hitting performances of the day. Thank you so much for checking this out. We'll do this again tomorrow. Do one of these six days a week. So if you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing. And again, we'll talk again tomorrow.